let the joint probability mass function of random variables x and y be p of x comma y is equal to x plus y by 12 and x is 1 comma 2 and y 1 comma 2 0 otherwise from this find the marginal probability mass functions of x and y and p of x plus y is less than or equal to 3 third one p of x greater than y and are they independent or the random variable x and y independent okay so here the given joint probability mass functions is x plus y by 12 but the random variables x and y are having the values 1 and 2 this is these two random variables are discrete random variables because they have only countable number of values 1 and 2 there is no value between 1 and 2 okay so that there are two random variables x and y are discrete random variable okay so in the discrete random variable i want to form a table from the given probability mass function what is given probability mass function given p of x is equal to x comma y equal to y is equal to this is x plus y by 12 and x is 1 comma 2 y also 1 comma 2 0 other the range other the interval okay so for this i want to form a table the table is okay so you can put either here x or here y anything anywhere so but here i am going to put x here and y here y values 1 and 2 1 and 2 x value also 1 and 2 okay and now inside x1 y1 put x1 y1 1 plus 1 2 2 by 12 so this is 2 by 12 for x1 y1 okay and this is x1 y2 1 plus 2 3 3 by 12 3 by 12 you can cancel but leave it we can put directly 3 by 12 and then next x2 y1 2 plus 1 3 3 by 12 okay x2 y2 2 plus 2 4 4 by 12 okay and then if it is y you have to write p of x why because this is the value for x is equal to 1. So we can calculate p of x equal to 1. Okay, for that meaning, if it is y value, you have to write p of x. If it is x value, you have to write p of y. Okay, so add these two. If both the denominators are same, so you can add numerator 3 plus 2, 5, 5 by 12. Okay, and now here, three denominators are same 4 plus 3, 7, 7 by 12. And then here add these two, 2 plus 3, 5, 5 by 12, same denominator. 3 plus 4, 4 by 12, sorry, 7 by 12. Okay, and now I want to verify both this and this sum should be equal and equal to 1. So verify with this, 5 plus 7, 12, 12 by 12, 1. 5 plus 7, 12, 12 by 12, 1. So this is 1 and both the sum same so our summation is right the table is right okay and now next i am going to form a value this is p of x is equal to 1 so this is the value for p of x is equal to 1 are you clear this is p of x but x value is 1 so this is p of x equal to 1 similarly here x is equal to 2 so p of x is equal to 2 and this is p of y p of y equal to 1 so this is p of y equal to 1 and this is p of y equal to 2 okay okay now so the table is over the first question is we want to find out marginal probability mass function marginal probability mass function so these two collections are marginal probability mass function so this is the prob probability mass function of x this is probability mass function of y 
So the first question I am going to find out probability mass functions. The first one probability mass function of x. So these two are probability mass function of x. So p of x equal to 1 is 5 by 12. p of x is equal to 1 is 5 by 12. And p of x is equal to 2 is 7 by 12. So this is the probability mass function of x. And then next I am going to find out probability mass function of y. This is probability of mass function of y is this. So p of y is equal to 1 is equal to 5 by 12. And p of y is equal to 2 is 7 by 12. So this is probability mass function of y. So the first question over. So second I want to find out p of x plus y is less than or equal to 3. So this is I want to find out. Okay. So x plus y. You see the inside value, the first value is p of 1 comma 1. Okay, so this is p of 1 comma 2. This is p of 2 comma 1. This is p of 2 comma 2. Okay, so what is the collection from the table? From the table. P of 1 comma 1. That is x is equal to 1. Y equal to 1 is 2 by 12. P of 1 comma 2, x is equal to 1, y equal to 2, it is 3 by 12. And P of 2 comma 1, this is x is equal to 2, y equal to 1 is 3 by 12. And P of 2 comma 2, x 2, y 2 is 4 by 12. Okay, so this is from the table. But the question is, I want to find out P of x plus y is less than or equal to 3. So I want to collect the probability value whose sum is less than or equal to 3. x and y value summation is less than or equal to 3. This is x value. This is y value. Add these two, 2. 2 is less than or equal to 3. So that we can collect P of 1 comma 1. Plus, next. This is 1 plus 2, 3. 3 is less than or equal to 3. It is satisfied. So this is also we can calculate. Take. And next. P of 2 comma 1. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 is less than or equal to 3. So this is also satisfied. So 2 comma 1. Next. 2 comma 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 is, 4 is not a less than or equal to 3. So we cannot take. Okay. So now I want to add all the value. What is P of 1 comma 1? 2 by 12. Plus this is. 3 by 12 plus 3 by 12. So now all are having same denominator. So 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 2 8. So 8 by 12. So 4, 2 fours are 8, 3 fours are 12. So 2 by 3 is the answer for P of x plus y is less than or equal to 3. Okay, so third one I want to find out P of x greater than y okay so you see to find p of x greater than y p of x greater than y okay so this is from the table x is greater than y this is x this is y x not greater than y okay so we cannot take this is x x1 y2 x is not greater than y so leave it and this is 2 comma 1 x and y x is greater than y so this is satisfied so we can take p of 2 comma 1 and then next p of 2 comma 2 2 2 is not greater than 2 so that this is not also not satisfied so we cannot take so this is only so what is p of 2 comma 1 is 3 by 12 so the answer is 3 by 12 okay so 1 3 is a 3 4 3 is a 12 so 1 by 4 is the answer for P of x greater than y. Okay. So last one, fourth question. Are x and y independent? So the condition for independent is condition for independent. The condition for independent is P of x is equal to x comma y equal to y is equal to 
P of x is equal to x into P of y equal to y. So this is the condition for independent. So this will be this should satisfy for each and every term in the table. Okay. So now I am going to uh, verify with the first term. So what is the first term? P of 1 comma 1. You see this is the table value P of 1 comma 1. 1 comma 1 means x value 1, y value 1. Okay. So x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. What is P of 1 comma 1? It is 2 by 12. Okay. It is 2 by 12. You can cancel 1 by 6. Okay. Now this will be equal to what? P of x is equal to x. So here x equal to 1. So what is P of x is equal to 1? P of x is equal to 1. It is already we found from the probability mass function. What is P of x is equal to 1? It is 5 by 12. So it is 5 by 12. Okay. And P of x is equal to y. What is x equal to 1? P of y equal to y. So y equal to 1. So here P of y equal to 1. So what is that? P of y equal to 1 is 5 by 12. Already we found. So it is 5 by 12. Okay. So